In this video, we're going to talk about the Promix HP Biofungicide plus Mycorrhizae. Basically what Promix HP stands for, the H stands for high, the P stands for porosity, meaning that there's high air porosity that's found in the growing media. It's a specialized product, but it can be used for all crops such as vegetables and herbs, flowering plants, etc. that are grown in the greenhouse environment. The product can be used in any pot size, anywhere from cell packs to pots themselves, hanging baskets, grow bags, or even mixed containers. The magic behind the Promix HP is the fact that it has a lower water retention. And because of the extra air space that you find in the growing media, it's ideal for crops that are sensitive to overwatering or for those who might easily get root disease issues. We also see that with the reduction of water retention in the mix, we see fewer problems with algae growth on the media surface, shore flies, and fungus gnats. Promix HP is also a great product to use for propagation of cuttings. And when looking at the use of the product, the best time of year to use a product like Promix HP is during a time of year when your day length is short, you have high humidity, and your light levels are low, which would be in your winter and your spring months. It's also good if you use the product if you have multiple people watering in your greenhouse. As we know, it's difficult sometimes to get people to water properly, so Promix HP is more forgiving when over water. Now to this, as I mentioned, this is Promix HP Biofungicide and mycorrhizae. Essentially these are two active ingredients that we add to the growing media. The biofungicide is in there to help with root disease suppression and the mycorrhizae is there to help improve plant growth. Promix HP Biofungicide plus mycorrhizae essentially contains 70 to 75 percent sphagnum peat moss. Sphagnum peat moss is essentially designed to hold the water in the growing media and it'll also help with some aeration. To that, we add the white material called perlite. The perlite itself is actually incorporated in there to improve the drainage of the mix and also help improve the air porosity. And to this combination, we also add a wetting agent, which is used to help the peat absorb water because peat is naturally hydrophobic. And we also add limestone to adjust the pH. We put in two forms. We put in the calcitic limestone to help adjust the pH on the front end and a dolomitic limestone to help adjust the pH long term. Essentially the starting pH of the mix is anywhere from about 5.5 to 6.0. And we also add a starter fertilizer charge. Starter fertilizer charge will last any, about seven days. After that point we recommend starting your own fertilization program. So as far as the physical properties of the Promix HP Biofungicide plus Mycorrhizae, essentially as I mentioned before, because of the addition of the perlite, it has lower water retention, which means it doesn't stay wet during the cold months of the year or for crops that don't grow very fast and won't naturally utilize the water. We do recommend as a little test to know when to rewater the product. You just simply take a look as an example of a container. You look at the surface of the growing media. If the surface of the growing media goes from kind of this dark brown color over to a light brown or tan color, that's a good indication to know when it's time to water. And with any peat-based mix, they're all lightweight, so they're easy to handle, they're easy to move around in the greenhouse, so there's no problem with the weight itself. The chemical properties of Promix HP Biofungicide plus Mycorrhizae, as I mentioned before, we do add limestone to adjust the pH about 5.5 to 6.0. Keep in mind that your input, such as your water alkalinity, your fertilizer, and the plant itself all have influence on the pH of your growing media. We do put in a starter fertilizer charge that lasts about seven days, as I mentioned, but keep in mind that at that point, you'd want to begin your own constant uh, fertilization program, and that fertilizer you use should, should consider your water quality, the crop growing as well. Now, as far as the biological properties, as I mentioned, we add both the biofungicide and the mycorrhizae into the product. The biofungicide is intended to help with root disease suppression, specifically caused by Alternaria fusarium pythium and rhizoctonia, and therefore, because of that, you can help reduce the number of drenches and help save time and money on that. The mycorrhizae is added to there, essentially to help enhance uptake of nutrients and water. Essentially, the mycorrhizal fungi will grow out into the growing media, past the root system to bring in those water and nutrients where the plants, plant roots are not located. So bottom line, by combining the two together, it helps to reduce the stress load on the plant, so you end up getting, in most cases, better uh, plant growth, get increased flowering, as well as fruit production. For more information about our active ingredients, you can check out our videos on our YouTube channel.
As far as product storage, we recommend storing the product at temperatures at 100 degree, 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius and lower. Reason is high temperatures can reduce the viability. Freezing the product's okay, that's not an issue. But when you're using the product, keep in mind that the biologicals, even though they'll last in the growing media for up to two years, we do recommend using the product within nine to 12 months due to the breakdown of the wetting agent and the starter fertilizer charge. Thank you.